Good morning, Heart Rockets. I hope everyone is doing fine. And I want to welcome all of you back to your virtual classes. I know these next couple of days, you guys are going to be at home doing virtual classes. But we are so happy and excited to have you back on Monday, March the 1st. First, I hope everyone's doing well, like I said. Um, but it's time to get started and start to get going. So we're going to start off with Mr. Martinez's super duper awesome trusty flag. I do got to say they have lasted really well. All right, my heart rockets. Let's get started with our pledges to the American flag followed by our pledges to the Texas flag. But before I do that, I guess I got to mention the date. Today is Wednesday. March, whoa, 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 Wednesday, February the 24th. Mr. Martinez is thinking about March already. Today is Wednesday, February the 24th of 2021. Today will be a C day for your special area classes. So remember C day for art, music, and PE. Make sure you're logging into your right class. Okay, guys, let's get started with our pledge to the American flag. Hands over your heart. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Juro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Okay, guys, stay <clears throat> standing or get ready for the pledge to our Texas flag. Repeat after me. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Te honro bandera de Texas. Te juro lealtad a ti, Texas, un estado bajo Dios, uno in indivisible. Okay, guys, please remain standing for a moment of silence. Great job, Heart Rockets. Um, so today's announcements, um, we're, we're going to go over a few things. We are still continuing with our EAFK message. Um, but before we finish uh, with our EFK and our Heart Rocket pledges, Here's a few things. So I'm excited um, to be able to connect with you today and share a very important story about a person who persevered. All right. So I get to tell you about a Constance Baker Motley. She loved to use her voice to share things that were important to her. She didn't have any money to go to college, but someone heard, um, heard her give a speech when she was in high school and was so impressed that she ended up paying for her to go to NYU, which is New York University and Columbia Law School. Wow, that must have been such an impressive speech. So she became the lead trial attorney for the N NAACP Legal Defense Fund and began arguing desegregation and fair housing cases across the country. The person at the NAACP who hired her was future Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. Wow. And she was all about helping people. Soon she became the first black woman to appear and stand for her beliefs in court. Over the years, she successfully represented Martha Luther King Jr. And she won nine out of 10 cases that she argued before the high court. Must be a great lawyer, great person. She also became the first black woman to serve in the New York State Senate and later the first black woman federal judge. Vice President Kamala Harris, a former prosecutor, has cited her as an inspiration. Wow, I did not know this. I love, love reading about all these different people. How exciting. Well, now we know a little bit more and I'm Mr. Martinez is gonna make sure to look her up even a little bit more because I wanna know more. All right, guys, a couple of history facts. Today in history, in 1938, the first nylon bristle toothbrush was made. 
It was the first time that nylon yard had been used commercially. And that year, cavities went down. That's just Mr. Martinez guessing. 1987, ooh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of the LA Lakers got his first three-point shot in the NBA. Cool beans. All right, guys, that looks like it's all the fun facts for today. And our announcements for today, again, have a wonderful Wednesday and a first day back. I want to finish off reciting our EAFK pledge and our Heart Rocket pledge. So let's proceed with reciting the four-way test. Repeat after me. Of the things we think, say, or do, we ask ourselves, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Great job, Heart Rockets. All right. Let's finish off strong with our Heart Rocket Pledge. Being a Heart Rocket means that I am responsible, on task, cooperative, kind, enthusiastic, and a team worker who is successful at everything you do. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.